Hello and welcome. Um, today I have a little different video, let's say. It is doll related, but not with dolls. Uh, the reason I am doing it is there was like a big promotion in a Bulgarian store and uh, they had DVDs for like a dollar and I was missing some Monster High movies so I bought those and some other things and I just wanted to, to show you these things uh, I actually I think I got scaries was the one that I was missing uh, Ever After High these are some episodes of Ever After High which is pretty cool you know these aren't also Freaky Fusion this is Freaky Fusion in Bulgarian uh, these aren't dolly things but uh, there are things that one day if I have like a big doll room I would like to display them next to my Monster High collection and Ever After High collection and uh, I was wondering do you collect stuff like that because I really like it and then uh, this whole thing spawned the idea to show you these little things that I have so these are uh, magazines, basically they are old, but how old can I see, 2013, <laughs> yep, January 2013, I got those second hands, this is why they are in the condition you see them in. They're all in Bulgarian, but uh, they're pretty cool. I don't know. I think it's a cool thing to own. There are little comics, little games that you can play and read. And since Monster High is discontinued and is like a collectible item at the moment, at least, you know, the original Monster High stuff, which this is. Look at that clue. And I really love just uh, the art. So I really like collecting these things. And I thought maybe it would be interesting for someone to, to show them, you know, basically to show you what uh, other merch than those you could uh, get in Bulgaria while Monster High were still going. Let's see what's happening here. They are pretty <laughs> taken apart, but yeah, look at this cool. It says Juice and Cleo. If I have like a doll room, most definitely these things are going to be displayed in it and uh, yeah that's that's the reason why I am collecting them what uh -huh, this is another magazine this one is March 2013 Monster High and Monster High in Bulgarian which is Gymnasiata na Chudovishta if you're wondering how Monster High sounds in my native language, Gymnasiata na Chudovishtata. Yeah, this one is in better condition. I'm guessing that uh, the middle part hasn't been taken away. Look at this cool, cool art. Awesome. Very pretty.
Yeah, this is the little poster and it hasn't been taken out. This is why the other one was uh, falling apart. Cool. So, yeah, there are little crafts, little games, you know, that sort of magazine. It's just what is more different about it. It's Monster High stuff, but in Bulgarian. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and then we have... Okay. <laughs> uh, this is July. Interesting. Snow in July. <laughs> oh, Spectre is so pretty. Abby is my favorite character. Spectra is my favorite doll. <laughs> How cool is that? Something has been cut out from here. But uh, these are second hand. I don't remember who I got them from. It was a while ago. It says, Dear Diary in Bulgarian, Milu Dnevniče. <laughs> so cool. I just, this is a huge reason why I really like Monster High. I love the art that comes with it. I love the characters, I love the movies, and uh, this makes me very afraid what are they going to do with the new movie, because from what we've been hearing, they've changed basically everybody and I don't know why they have these awesome characters that we all love and why do they have to go and change them? Can they just come up with a continuation of what has happened? To the characters can they like introduce their kids for instance I i'm gonna be up for that as long as they don't touch my perfect characters <laughs> sorry the millennial in me is coming out which i am a millennial just this taking everything from our childhood and uh, changing it. I don't see what's the point. Better come up with uh, something new. Honestly, I wasn't going to be mad if they had said no more Monster High. That's the end of Monster High. I'm excited about the new Monster High because I'm hoping it, it is going to be this good. And if it's not, it's going to be hard for me. But this is a positive video. I'm not going to rant and I'm going to be positive and I'm going to hope for the best. Let's hope that at least the dolls are nice. Uh, and then in my little collection, we have a Barbie book. Uh, it says Barbie and her secrets. This is Barbie in Bulgarian. Inani the Tiny is her secrets. And this booklet, I don't know when. When it's from, it's pretty old. You can tell by the Barbie on the cover, but I don't really see when it was printed. But the Nevertheless, book is the book is wow. It is just beautiful. Mm, 2001 Egmont Bulgaria. This is uh, who printed it. Barbie fashion review. Look at this awesome art. I'm gonna flip faster through it because I have a lot. Of booklets here but uh, I just wanted to show you I know that most of you will appreciate this is what I aspire to do doll photography look at them they look like real people 
I love them. And I love the fact that uh, today you can do that in your home. You know, we all have cameras on our phones. You don't need to go and buy a special camera. Let's just see these awesome dioramas that someone has set up for this booklet. I love those. Look at this. This is so beautiful and it's so inspiring to me. Every time I flick through that book, I get so inspired to do doll photography. So cool. And then this one is a little more childish, but it has somewhat cool art. That's not my favorite era of uh, Barbie art, so we're not gonna dwell too much on it. Uh, then we have a uh, fried camera action, and uh, this is basically the movie shortened. And I think it's a cool thing to have. Uh, then we have a few of the diaries that come with uh, the dolls. We have uh, Perry and Pearl. We have Avea Trotter. Just some info about them. Invisibility. And Claudia Wolf. And uh, this is Castas. Cast of years, and uh, it's actually not a diary, it's cool art. This is her concept art, and it is absolutely stunning, and it is so inspiring to me. This is very pretty. Uh, then we have some coloring booklets which have very beautiful art but aren't really doll related. I just saw them in the supermarket one day and uh, the art is just beautiful. I'm not one to... I don't like coloring that much. But... Uh, the art is uh, beautiful and uh, I love looking at stuff like that. And there is one more here. So detailed. I have no idea who drew this. If they even... Mm. It's new, it's 2020 but... It doesn't say who the artist is, which is which sucks. I hope that uh, it's not rip, ripped off. Mm. 
This is um, pen and paper RPG that uh, a friend of mine created and I illustrated it and I'll just find a little bit of art to show you. These are the type of characters that you can create to play with but uh, yeah I'm not gonna do it. Then we have these three little cards from Half Asleep Chris who is a YouTuber who a while ago I wrote to and uh, he sent back three beautiful postcards and uh, I did almost flash someone else's uh, address because I had like uh, a letter that I hadn't put away. This is a new Barbie magazine from this year. We're not gonna dwell on it. Uh, this is something very very cool and something that uh, I'm very happy to own. Uh, it's the character Encyclopedia, as you can see, and uh, it's basically the Monster High dolls. It is from 2016, so it has basically everything you need it to have, everything important, you know, before the, the reboot happened. Obviously, if you like the reboot, please don't get offended. I just... Um, I have reboot those and I like some of them I don't want to be like offensive uh, to the people who, who like it just uh, it's like an add-on to Monster High it's not uh, what it's very different this is the core of Monster High that I really love and uh, anyways it's a very nice book you can open it and uh, you can see how the dolls looked Obviously, these are promo pictures of the dolls, so they are kind of different sometimes, but uh, I think it's it's an amazing book. Amazing book. I found it a while ago, uh, maybe two or three years. I was in a bookstore for something completely else, and uh, from shelf to shelf, I reached... <laughs> A shelf and I saw the Monster High logo and I pulled it out and uh, it was uh, discounted too so I was it was a very happy day to have actually found it and I just love going through it
and here was a brief reminder of the monster high dose that you probably missed on <laughs> or at least on, on a few that you missed on <laughs> I really love uh, this uh, booklet and then we have a few sticker albums so this one I think can be found on Amazon I think it has been bent but uh, I did find it uh, with the character encyclopedia and they were both uh, discounted uh, what is really cool about it is that you have these sorts of stickers in it and they're those <laughs> actual those and I really really love it these are all little individual stickers And you have every single sticker two times so basically they start over from here and you have everything that I showed you you have it again so you can use one and stick it to, to something and then you can have one left in the in the booklet which is super cool really really nice uh, book and uh, really nicely printed if you see it somewhere, get it. It's a it's a very nice booklet. I'm very lucky to have found it. Again, this is how it looks if anyone wants to look it up. And then we have the Panini uh, sticker albums. Uh, I recently learned that Panini is... Uh, this is Panini. European thing, uh, not sponsored, not affiliated. It's just something I basically grew up with. I had Disney uh, albums of that sort. I remember I had Epoch Hunters. Anyways, uh, they make lots of uh, cool sticker albums with uh, beautiful art and unique. And I have four because recently, recently, hard word, recently when i showed you the 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 cities sorry uh they had these and they were like 50 cents super discounted last uh, the last few basically they were selling the super cheap so i have three new ones of uh, this and then i have one that is almost complete i am missing 19 stickers is, is it this one yes this is the one with the stickers i'm missing 19 stickers and i found a guy locally who sent sales books second hand and he has all the stickers and he was able to find me the exact 19 stickers that i'm missing so uh what i'm going to do i'm going to end the video here and uh he has uh, the guy that i'm talking about has mailed the things to me supposedly and uh, they will be here in a few days and then i will flick through every page to show you the cool stickers and i will stick on the last ones and we will complete the panini sticker album together and uh, until then do you collect something similar? Do you collect uh, booklets and uh, CDs and do you display them or do you want to display them next to your collection? I think any sort of memorabilia or merch if you want to call it, it's something very cool to go with your doll collection and it kind of I feel like it makes my doll collection a little more sophisticated, let's call it, a little more complete, if you will. You know, just to to have the, the art that uh, 
the artist first in most cases and then are the dolls but uh, I'm going on a tangent and this video is kind of long and it's going to be a nightmare to edit so I will uh, tell you bye and uh, come back for the next uh, video where we hopefully complete this album and uh, see you then, bye!